Hello lovely Libra! Welcome back to the channel or if it's your first time here welcome. I just want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers and to all my long-term subscribers. Thank you all for being here. Um, this is going to be a monthly Terrascope for Libra. King of Coins. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you're working with. Alternately, this could be, um, or who's featured this month. It could also be you being at the head of your own business, Libra. This is the CEO card. So let's see what else is coming up. Crossing it, we have Nine of Coins, both coins energy here. At the basis is Eight of Cups in reverse. Passing away is Hanged Man. Your opportunity is Page of Coins. And approaching is Page of Cups in reverse. You in the situation are represented by Six of Swords in reverse. Your environment is full. Love that. And your hopes and fears is two of wands. And potential outcome is queen of swords in reverse. So let's take a look at what's going on here. On the bottom of the deck, we have two of coins. So basically it's saying for me with this two of coins as the overarching theme is stay flexible this month. Stay, um, if you're feeling unbalanced, which sometimes you Libras can feel that way. You know, you approach things with a sense of flexibility and humor. That's really going to help you this month. So two of coins is about staying flexible, rolling, going with the flow, rolling with the punches, you know, trying to juggle things and balance energies. Um, and often having a sense of humor is a good way to do that. Your central focus here is king of coins and nine of coins crossing it. So this really tells me that there may be a focus on finances this month. There may be a way in which some of you may be trying to decide between how much you're going to reinvest in your businesses from your profits and how much you're going to enjoy for your own personal expenditures, how much you're going to enjoy um, putting the, your money into your lifestyle. This is often a card of making good financial decisions. In fact, both of these are. So I see you making good financial decisions this month, Libra, but there may be a balance that you need to strike between um, putting things into a business versus, say, a bank account or spending it on something. Some of the, Because this is your challenge card, some of you may want to spend some of this money that is coming towards you on luxury items. But what this King of Coins card is telling me is that it might be better to reinvest it in the business. Or, you know, it could be that some of you have spent time saving things up. Um, if you haven't, that might be part of the challenge is that you're not able to reinvest in your business because you're, the way that you've spent things is not allowing for that. But, they're, they're both good decision making cards when it comes to money. It's just that there may be, you may want to reprioritize where you're reinvesting your money. So this could be like choices of where you're investing money that aren't growing it for you as much as say a king of coins would do. They're both, they both make, you know, they both have surplus, but this one is at a mastery level. And this one is, at a place where they are just had they have creature comforts where they have things that um you might be able to actually get more bang for your buck for some of you i'm actually seeing too that this might mean uh raising your prices might be what's needed here or what you can look at doing this month because this says i have enough I'm sufficient, I'm comfortable, but this is saying, you know, I have more than enough. I have not only, they're both eating grapes, which is interesting, but he's got lots of grapes on the vine. You know, he's got an abundance of them. She's got one bowl of them. So it's saying that you've got, your, th your thinking might need to get larger, is what I'm seeing mostly for um, your finances. You may be thinking small, and when you could be thinking big. So... That's the first read I'm getting on those two cards. The basis of this, maybe that you're 
afraid to move on from something, Libra. This is Eight of Cups. And I'm especially seeing this around the new moon uh, partial solar eclipse in Leo. If there's something that you know that you should move on from, but you're afraid to, or if you're noticing there's fear, doubt, or resistance to moving on from something, I'm going to encourage you to do that, to walk your own path. Because in reverse, this says there is some sort of fear about moving on to the next cycle, even though you might be weary of the current one. I'm going to encourage you to take, to have that courage and to um, consider that there might be better things out there for you. Eight of Cups is really a card of moving on to something bigger and bolder. And even if you've put a lot of time, love, care, attention into something, there might be there might be better horizons out there for you. In fact, I'm seeing that with both of these cards, which represent you, Libra. This is Eight of Cups, which means moving on, and this is Six of Swords, which also means moving on. This can be moving on from a, a time of conflict to a time of serenity. And this is just being weary of something that is now ending. So with both of these being moving on cards, representing you, and both of them being in reverse, is there something this month, Libra, that you know you need to move on from, but that you're afraid, you've got some doubt, you've got some resistance? Try to consider what that is, because if you do that, there could be a lot of smoother horizons ahead for you. It could be a time of healing and recovery, but there's going to be a leap of faith that you need to take in order to do that. It, it could be the difference between thinking like nine of coins versus potentially a job where you move up in authority and rank, you know, versus king of coins energy. So interesting stuff. Think big is what I'm going to tell you for Libra. Um, and some of it may have to do with reforming your audience. You know, 11th house, that maybe your audience is transforming. Maybe you used to, say if you're a public speaker, maybe you used to speak to people in a town hall kind of setting, and now you're getting the opportunity to go from nine of coins, you know, local stuff, to... King of Coins, you know, audiences on the internet or within your state or country. So it's sort of like an expansiveness is available to you this month if you can get over what fears you might have about moving on to the next chapter, the next level. If you're an artist, for example, this could be putting your artwork in front of new audiences. If you're a musician, it could be from performing at local venues to huge arenas. It's just that kind of thinking going from being in a good spot, nine of coins, I'm pretty content, pretty happy here, to king of coins. Like, I, I, can, I can handle a lot bigger of an empire. I can manage it. I know what I'm doing. It's that sense of authority and ownership that is available to you. And what's passing away is a time of stasis and waiting. This is Hangman, and this is the energy that's passing away. So it could be that you took some time out to see things from a new vantage point, that there was a pause or a time out that gave you new clarity or a new perspective on something, and you got time to just sort of hang there and observe and see th things from a 180. And therefore, we usually gain clarity when that kind of thing happens. Um, and your opportunity here is Page of Coins which is receiving something new. Could be receiving a new job offer. Again, that new title, um, new money, new relationship. Page of Coins is like willing and ready to learn. He's willing to, whenever, sometimes when I see this card, I think of musicians who go back to the fundamentals and they say, you know, even though I'm in a good spot here, Nine of Coins or King of Coins, I'm willing to go back to become a student so that I can really learn this thing, so that I can really receive the gifts and the value of what it is that I'm doing. So this could be something that's being handed to you, an opportunity for a new job, a new relationship, something of value to you, but it could also represent the willingness to go study something back at a fundamental level is what I'm getting from this. And then here's a page, this is energies coming in, 
Page of Cups in reverse. This card usually talks about what turns us on, what we become infatuated with, what makes our heart leap. And so while I see you, Libra, being kind of practical about things and having the opportunity to like get things lined up in a row so that it's financially rewarding for you, I want you to keep in mind that you can also include your heart in that. With this coming in and saying, you know, I want this thing, I want to be passionate, I want to be, um, I want to allow love in, even if it's love for a creative project or whether it's for another person or something else. This is like a young teenager that is totally consumed with love. In the reverse, I'm kind of getting that it might be like some of the joy and passion has drained out of this or I can't quite do what I love, I need to do what I feel like is responsible or what is duty. So as you consider taking on a new feather in your cap, learning something new, I want you to keep in mind that your joy is part of it too. Remember what yes feels like. You know, pages are all about new opportunities, new learning, new communication. Be open to what your heart loves is what I'm going to say. Be, be aware of any resistance, fear, or doubt you have to saying yes, especially when it comes to things that you love and that make your heart leap, Libra, because that wants to come in. It's here for you. It's just that there's something that's kind of keeping it under the surface. Um, and like, like I said about Six of Swords here, this is moving on to a new place, new horizons, healing, recovering, going somewhere where it feels more serene. So I'm going to ask you what is any fear, doubt, or resistance to this moving on phase? You know, both of these are saying it's time to move on. It's time to go somewhere new. So in reverse, I'm asking why can't you? What's the holdup? What's the, what's the block for that? Does it have to do with pursuing something that your heart really loves? Possibly if you turn this one around, you might be able to turn these around. And your environment is one of readiness. This is the Fool card. This is like believing in everything is possible. It's sort of like saying um, you have this whole fertile new field to plant anything you want. What do you want to plant? Fool is all about taking new journeys, discovering something new, having beginner's mind. It's the zero card. So it's before anything is formed. And it's beginner's mind. It's like being like a child again. In fact, I'm seeing it in line here with the Page of Cups. So together, they're like children laughing and playing and like running off in, into distant horizons where they're like, oh, let's go explore, let's go check it out. With Page of Cups in reverse, you know, it's saying I've got this open-hearted, um, adventurous feeling of fool, which is optimistic and full of faith, but Page of Cups in reverse says, I don't know if I can really do what I love. I don't know if I can receive this message of love. I don't know if I can do what makes me creative and joyful and laughing and, and, you know, think back to what made you excited and happy as a teenager. That'll give you clues to what you can do to let this in. Because fool is like, let's, I'm ready, let's jump off that cliff. It's having hope and faith and optimism and being ready for whatever comes your way. So this is a leap of faith card. That's your environment. And then your hopes and fears. This is funny. This I think this combo came up for Virgo, maybe in I think in different placements, but your hopes and fears cards is, is two of wands in reverse. This is telling me that you don't know if you have the courage to take something on or to set out on a journey that you want to. Two of wands is often called making fire. Um, I often say with this card that it's like holding the world in the palm of your hands feeling like the world is in the palm of your hands, feeling like the world is your oyster. And two of wands is when two passions come together. So it could be two things that you're passionate about that become something that you want to do, that, you know, the new direction that you want to go in. It's when we get lit up. It's when we say, oh my God, I want to apply energy to this. I really want to accomplish this goal. I want to go climb that mountain. So with this as your hopes and fears, it's like something that you really want to do. I'm really getting sort of like a passion project. But 
there's this doubt energy. Like, can I really go do this thing? Like, say if you wanted to go sail around the world, if that was your dream. And it's something that you've always loved sailing ever since you were a kid. With both of these in reverse, this is telling me that it's what you really want to do. But you're fearful that you can't actually do the thing that you actually love. So what is that, Libra? What is the thing that you want to go do? Because this is your opportunity card and this is your hopes and fears card. This is usually what we most want but we most fear. Two page, I mean a page here, there's another page here, and then this is the two of wands. And both of these cards, page of coins and two of wands, are young people who are holding something in their hand that is of value. Here's the pearl and here it's a golden coin. So what is it that's being offered to you that you may or may not be receiving? That you really want, Libra? I really see this as something that your heart wants. Do you have the courage? Do you have the courage to take this leap of faith? I mean, that's what fool, the environment is right, is what it's saying, Libra, but you have to get clear on your own boldness, your own courage, your own vision of what it is that you want, because I'm kind of getting that there's some doubts or fears, like you're, you're doing the responsible thing, you're willing to learn, but are you willing to pursue something that your heart is in it too, or does it have to just look practical? That's the question. Does it have to be money making? Consider your heart in this too, Libra. That's going to be an important point. Because your potential outcome is Queen of Swords in reverse. Now this is your card, Libra. I always read Queen of Swords as an air sinus and almost specifically a Libra. With you in reverse, this is showing up as you. But in reverse, it's just saying like, um, there's some doubt, fear, or resistance that may just put things in delay. And with these cards that represent you in reverse, you know, your kingdom, Queen of Swords is always in charge of a kingdom, is just in delay until she decides to move on from whatever whatever this current cycle is. She, the Queen of Swords is usually very clear on her boundaries, on her thinking, on her alignment with truth, on her clarity. In reverse, it's saying, you know, I know I'm, I know that I'm this Queen of Swords. I know what I want. I know what's in and what's out. I know where up and down is, but I'm not declaring it. I'm not being 100% honest with myself about what I want. I'm being, I'm upside down because I'm not willing to, look at all these cards in reverse. I'm not willing to take on the thing and move in the direction that I know I need to move in. So it's in delay. That's all I'm reading Queen of Swords in reverse as, is that this dream, this opportunity, may be held in delay as long as you do not believe that you can have what your heart wants. That's, that's what I'm seeing from these cards. So what, what can you do, Libra, to put yourself in the upright position, own your own authority? This is what I want. I, I think actually in this case it's declaring it. It's saying it. Because in, uh, in the upright, Libra has no problem with saying, this is right, this is fair, this is true, this is just, this is my truth. She has ownership of that usually. In the reverse, there's fear or doubt or resistance to saying, you know, I know that I can go from nine of coins to king of coins. It's accepting the current role instead of putting that crown on and saying, you know, I, I can be in charge of the company. I know how to do this. I've been doing this for years. I can I can make the decisions. So there's an issue with a, your personal authority that I'm seeing here in August. And I want you to take a page from Leo on this. Leo wears the crown easily. Leo knows how to um, connect with their solar plexus, the golden area in their heart which has to do with that passion, that drive. It's, think about fifth heart, fifth um, house. It's all about the heart. It's all about what makes my heart leap. What am I connected to that makes me radiate out and own my own authority and, and have my own vision? This, that's what this month is about for you, Libra. So see if you can find a place of balance. See if you can approach things in a flexible, humorous way. See if you can move on to that thing that you know you want. 
um, and find the inner courage to make that fire, to start that action, and to receive this beautiful thing that's coming to you. And, you know, acknowledge acknowledge the authority that you have in your own life. Acknowledge. I think you just need to declare what it is. Some of you may even need to write it down, Libra, and say, this is what I want. It's ready for you. You know, this is this is fool. This is what's surrounding you. You're ready for this new grand adventure. You may just have to get over whatever fears, doubts, or resistance are in the way. So that's my reading for you, Libra. I think it's going to be a very interesting month for you, and I think it's going to be up to you, ultimately, what you do with it, um, whether you're going to be willing to wear that crown or not.